planning on relocating to Las Vegas, then this is the video for you. Welcome to the official Las Vegas apartment tours, apartment hunting video. If you have not kept up with my vlogs over the last few weeks, then you don't know that I've been in Vegas and I've just been touring apartments. I currently live in LA, but I've been touring with the idea of moving back to Vegas. For those who don't know, I used to live in Vegas for a few years. I left at the end of 2020 and I've been touring with the idea of moving back. So. Here's an apartment tour video. I hope you guys enjoy. If you haven't already, give this video a big thumbs up. It helps me out tremendously. Go ahead and subscribe because these videos are only gonna get better. Stay tuned, you're in for a treat. First apartment is Society. It's located in Henderson. The brand new building, a lot of the apartments have yet to be lived in and they're still adding more buildings to the property. First walk in, you see the living room and this beautiful kitchen with this beautiful island, which is what sold me. The black, the white, the marble, I know it's so modern and a lot of people don't like it, but I love it. I wasn't a fan of the electric stove. I wanted gas, but it's very rare to get gas in Vegas, so electric will do. Is the pantry and the shelving that you see inside of all of the closets come with the unit, which I'm excited about because I love organization. All of the drawers and cabinets are soft clothes as well, which I love. Everything's so deep. There's so much storage in this unit, which I'm excited about. This would be your linen closet. Again, all of the shelving you see in here comes with it. I was so excited to see a full fridge and freezer because it's very rare to get that in an apartment. So to see it in this unit, I was like, heck yes, because I love to eat. So, you know, got to keep a stocked fridge and freezer the laundry room which i loved having when i did live in vegas previously right next to the laundry room is the bathroom this is the shower which this is the guest bathroom by the way not the main bathroom and then right next to that is going to be the second bedroom the guest bedroom i guess you would say i toured two bedrooms because that's what i want i might end up going with a one bedroom but two bedroom would be ideal this is the walk-in closet. Again, all of the shelving comes with the units. I love how big these closets are because your girl likes to shop, but she's got a lot of stuff. And then you walk out of the bedroom and you see the kitchen again. The one thing, the only flaw I have to say about this kitchen is yes, the island is huge and it's open, but it seems so close to the living room. This is the main master bedroom, the master closet. And then this is gonna be the master bathroom, which has a standing shower, which I personally don't like, but it is what it is. At least there is a tub in the second bathroom. But again, I love the black, the white, the marble. It just looks really nice and lots of storage. Overview of the bathroom, which is actually pretty big for an apartment, so I'm excited. There's a linen closet in the master bath as well, which is very important for your towels. Just an overview of the kitchen from the master. This is a second unit that I toured. It is on the second story, so there's stairs. This is pretty typical in a Vegas apartment. You're going to get stairs if you get the second story. But this is a different layout. I do like the L-shaped kitchen. This one seemed a little bit bigger than the first one that I toured. Your laundry room. And then this is the bathroom which this is the first bathroom would be the guest bathroom and then the guest bedroom which again is still a pretty good size giant walk-in closet with the shelving and then an overview of the bedroom I do like how the bathroom is connected to the bedroom. There's a door so you can close the doors and then your guests can also use it if you have people over. I also like that a lot of apartments in Vegas have a separate dining area versus the just using like the bar top. It's nice. This is your other closet that you can use. Again, the shelving comes with it. I love the hardwood floor as well. That is like my main thing. I have to have hardwood floor because of my animals. 
This would be your master. It's a little bit bigger than the guest bedroom, but it's still good size. The walk-in closet, very good size. Again, I have a lot of things. I like the storage. I don't like how there's carpet in the bedrooms, but it's pretty typical for Vegas. You have your master bath, which it look really looks just like the other unit that I showed you first. This is double sinks. The little circle you see in the mirror is an LED light, so you can change the lighting in the bathroom, which is nice. Again, a linen closet, very important to have. Stay organized. Nobody likes a dirty apartment, an organized apartment. This is an overview of the kitchen, which I love just as much as the first one. I like that you could still sit at the bar top if you want. Then he took me into a completely empty apartment. That's not the model, which this one's just a one bedroom, but he just wanted to show me how big it actually is. So this is completely empty. So you can actually see what you're getting when you do move in. So it's not like a gimmick. Be like, oh, just kidding, you actually don't get the shelving, you know? He just wanted to show me what the options were, and this one's carpet. And this is an overview of the pool. It's a resort style. I absolutely love it. It's beautiful. This apartment building comes with a sauna, a steam room, and a full gym, which is good for me because, you know, I'm trying to get back into shape. And then this is just their main office building they also have an e-lounge we move on to the next apartment building i want to go through all the pricing and move-in fees because i don't feel like a lot of people do that in these videos there is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven different floor plans but i'm just going to give you the basic ones so the one bedroom by one bath is 836 square feet they start at 1741 they have a two bedroom by two bath which is 1123 square feet Starts at $2,020. And then you have a two bedroom, two bath townhome, which is 1,250 square feet. Starts at 2,460. And then you have a three bedroom by two bath, which is 1,390 square feet, which starts at 2,525. Now these prices, they include the water, the sewer, the valet trash, the insurance, which is like your renter's insurance, the tech package, which is the smart home, including the ring doorbell, the thermostat, the Cox cable package, which comes with HBO and Showtime. And it also includes some internet, uh, 250 gigs of internet, which for that price, honestly, you're spending all that extra money. You might as well get it in one package deal. The rent is reasonable. And for being a new building, I would say this is on the cheaper end. Now the move-in fees, the security deposit based on your credit, it starts at 250. You have a one-time non-refundable admin fee, which is 260. Then you have a holding fee of $100. And then you have an application fee of 50. Your holding fee and your application fee are due at the time of application. As far as that one-time non-refundable admin fee, that does get refunded to you if you do get denied. And then you can do a short lease term, which is three to five months for an extra $200. If you want to upgrade some of the apartments, so if you want the hard surface flooring, it's $50 extra a month. You can do a first floor upgrade, which is um, on the third story, it's $25 per month. You have a second floor upgrade, which is on the second story, $50 a month, which the upgrade is the flooring, like the hardwood flooring versus the carpet. If you want the location, so they can give you specific locations in this um, apartment building. If you want it to be by the main pool, it's a $200 fee, $75 per month. If you want a garage, it's $175 per month. And if you want an extra storage unit, it is gonna be $75 per month, which honestly, these are all just for picky people. I would just go with the basics, except for the hardwood flooring. I would like the hardwood flooring and I would like a first story building because trying to move in on the second story, y'all, it's not it. And then as far as like pet fees, they have a non-refundable pet fees, $300 per pet for under 25 uh, pounds. You have a non-refundable pet fee um, of 500 for over 25 pounds. Your pet rent is 25 a month if they're under 25 pounds. Pet rent is $35 a month for over 25 pounds. And then breed restrictions apply. 
a pet screening is required. And then, yeah, I believe there is no limb on how many animals you can have. Most places do two. Um, but this one doesn't say that there is a limit to how many animals you can have in the unit. But yeah, that's basically the breakdown for that. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. Now let's go to the second apartment building. Second apartment is the Mercer. It's located in Spring Valley, right off of the 215 in Tropicana, like almost Summerlin. I was excited to tour this one because I know a few YouTubers who actually live in this building and it looks really nice from their videos. So I wanted to see it for myself. In this tour, we're gonna see the amenities first and then we're gonna see the actual apartment. So skip ahead if you're not interested in the amenities, but when I first got there, I was waiting for the leasing agent. So I just did a quick overview of the main office building. They have a coffee bar and then you can see the pool, which everything we'll see in depth later when she actually walks me through everything. And then the gym is right next to here as well. They have a massage room you can rent out and then they also have a pool table you can use a movie theater which i thought was cool with a popcorn machine you never really see that and then you can rent out this little clubhouse area which has a full kitchen if you want to host like a birthday party or whatever it might be you can rent it out and then from here we're going to walk out to the pool which i'm obsessed with there's a huge waterfall resort style again you get that a lot in vegas it's beautiful. I love how quiet it was too for it being summer and there's not anybody out there. The other side is the court area with the grills. There's some fun things you can do over there in the lawn. And then this is their rooftop with a gorgeous view, but they got the grills up here as well if you wanna host a party or whatever. This is the view from that rooftop. And then we're gonna get into the apartment. So she only showed me a one bedroom. Again, I wanted to see a two bedroom, but she showed me it's basically the same layout, just add another bedroom and bathroom. It's kind of dark, which I don't appreciate. Um, a two bedroom I know is gonna be a little bit lighter. This is the bathroom, which is pretty normal sized. Lots of storage. This is the kitchen, which I absolutely love the island. And then the laundry room, which again, I absolutely love. I love having a separate. This will be the closet, which she said are the same in the guest and the master bedroom if you were to get a two bedroom. The bedroom's a little bit small for the one bedroom, but it is what it is. Nice big sink, lots of storage area, which I can appreciate. Again, I like to be organized. I love the backsplash in this kitchen. I love that everything's hardboard too. This is the mail room, and then this is the full gym, which one thing I can appreciate about this gym is that there is a separate like yoga dance studio, which I thought was really cool. You don't get that a lot in apartments, so it's a nice little touch. Let me give you the pricing breakdown for the Mercer. Um, the floor plan that I personally would like would be the B1, which is their two bedroom. It's uh, 1038 square feet. It's a two bedroom, two bath. The monthly rent, depending on when you move in. Um, if I were to move in August 19th, it would be 1895. And that is the apartment 207. So it's on the second story. And if I wanted apartment 411, which is on the fourth floor, and I moved in on September 12th, my rent would be 2095. Again, it all depends on the floor plan and when you move in, so definitely look that up online if you're interested in this building. The additional monthly fees on top of the rent, uh, utilities are around $95. The entertainment package is $150. Your renter's insurance is $1450. And then pet rent, it just varies. Um, application fee would be $60 per adult. Your admin fee is $300, which an admin fee, honestly, it's not like a security deposit or anything. It's pretty standard in Vegas. It's just a random fee so they can do your background check and paperwork and whatnot. It's kind of annoying. Sometimes you can get around it, but it's pretty standard for Vegas. And then your security deposit would be 500. That's standard. It could be up to one month rent depending on your credit. Your cleaning fee is 350. So they come in and clean the apartment before you move in. And then your pet fee deposit is 450 per pet. And then your pet rent is $40. 
um that's basically the breakdown for that it is three times the rent i don't think i said that in society society is three times the rent as well but yeah that's your basic move-in fees let's move on to the next apartment the third apartment is Alta and V, which I was excited to tour these because they were still being built when I left Vegas at the end of 2020. Little area is the office area, which is only open during business hours. You walk out, this is the outdoor area, which is nice and quiet, it's clean. For summertime, no one in the pool, that's weird, but I don't mind. Again, the resort style pool. I like the little turf for your dogs. There's an outdoor bathroom as well, which is nice. And then this gym, which I didn't really care for. I absolutely hate that there's carpet that's weird, but it's a nice place to have a gym. Now you walk in to the apartment. And again, I wanted to see a two bedroom. I like how open this is. I love the kitchen, the big open island. This is the guest bath, a little small, the guest bedroom. Again, I hate the carpet, but that's what you get in Vegas. This is the closet with the shelving, decent size, can't complain. This is gonna be the master bedroom, which I still thought was a little small, but it works. The master bathroom, which I'm obsessed with. Again, I don't like the standing shower, but I love how open this is. This giant closet with the shelving again, obsessed. The double sinks for the bathroom, all the storage. I love that the shower is in its own corner as long or as well as the toilet. Gives it a nice open feeling. I don't know, maybe I'm weird. I just like to have an open layout. And then the laundry, which I would have preferred a front loader, but this will do. Now that I've shown you guys that beautiful two bedroom, I'm gonna go through the pricing. So usually when they give you quotes like this, they're very limited time, so you gotta like move on it. But this would have been if I moved on September 14th and did a 12 month lease, that two bedroom, two bath, the rent would have been 2120. There's a couple extra fees here on top of that, which would have been like pest control, valet waste, which pest control is $3, valet waste is 25. And then there's a convergent fee, which I'm not sure what that is, but it's $3, um, totaling to 2156.15 for rent. Your one time charges, which would be your admin fee is 200, your application fee is 60. There is a parking fee here, which is $10, but it is one reserved parking spot for you. That's very rare. Also, I just wanna say they usually don't charge you anything to park in Vegas, um, but for whatever reason, they wanna charge you $10. It might be for the parking pass to get in through the gate. I could be wrong, I didn't ask, but $10, one-time fee, it's not monthly. And then your, obviously your security deposit, which is 500 based on your credit. And then my special that she offered me would be a waived admin fee. So you could always, like I said earlier, get certain fees waived um, if they're having certain specials or months free or whatever, but you have to move quickly. I obviously am not quite ready to give up my LA dream. I don't know why, but I'm not ready to move. So that's that. Let's move on to the next building. And then this next one is Spur, which I actually didn't get to tour because there was nobody in the office. But just give you guys a quick overview. I have toured these before. They were still being built though. I just wanted to give you guys a quick overview of the office area and the pool. Again, resort style pool, very common. But yeah, definitely look these ones up if you're interested. This next apartment is Dream. I've toured these before, but I just wanted to see if there was any changes. This is the office area. The gym, which was tiny, I hated, and the carpet, come on. She showed me a two bedroom on the second story. So we've got the stairs, which again, this is pretty typical in Vegas if you're on the second story. This is the kitchen and the living room, which I can't appreciate how big it is, but it just seemed really dark. Small L-shaped kitchen, didn't care for the fridge. The tiny pantry, which it'll do. Another linen closet. This is the bathroom. Pretty typical, nothing special. This is the first bedroom, which would be your guest bedroom and the closet. And then this is the overview of the room from the closet. Again, it seems kind of dark. I don't care for it. I do like how there's a separate dining area though, I will say. 
And then this would be your master bedroom. Again, with the walk-in closet, which is pretty typical in Vegas, I've noticed, and new, these newer modern buildings, you get a nice walk-in closet. And then you've got the bathroom, which this one is a double sink, lots of storage. And this one also has a linen closet in it as well. And then you've got a little outside storage area on your deck, patio area, and then that's the view from the second story. As a price breakdown, she only gave me two bedroom options, even though I said a one bedroom or a two bedroom, but I'll just go over that first and then the rest of the fees. So if I were to move in on August 25th, my rent would be 1811. If I moved in on September 8th, my rent would be 1875. If I moved in on September 15th, my rent would be 1926. And then if I moved in on September 16th, my rent would be 1916. Again, that depends on the floor plan that you choose, the unit you choose, first, second, third floor. But those are the price points she gave me that are coming up. You have to make two and a half times the rent, which is rare that you see that these days. Normally, everywhere wants three times. I will take two and a half times. I can do that easy. As far as your extra monthly fees, your valet trash, your pest control, it's $36 a month. They also have common usage utilities, which I only paid that when I lived in a high rise building. I never paid that living in a regular apartment building, but it is what it is. It varies month to month. It could be anywhere from $5 to 25. It depends on who's using the common areas and how often they're using it. If you want a garage, it's $150 per month extra. And then as far as your move-in fees here, your application fee is $60. Your admin one-time non-refundable fee is $300. Your security deposit depends on your credit, but it starts at $750 and can go up to one month of rent. Your cleaning fees, so they come in and clean the apartment before you move in, is $200. It's non-refundable. You have a key fee and a remote fee. I'm assuming these are to get into the building and to get into the gate. Your key fee is 35 non-refundable. Your remote fee is 50 non-refundable. I never paid that when I lived at the domain in Henderson, but I don't know. I just think they're just trying to get over on you here. As far as your pet fees, they're non-refundable. You have a two pet limit. For one pet, it's 350, 200, or for two pets, it's 500. Oh my goodness, I can't read. And then you have your pet rent, which you have to pay monthly. If you have one pet, it's 50. If you have two pets, it's 80. Register your pets as ESA because those fees are ridiculous. Um, I would not recommend this. This is too many extra fees. Not worth the price that you're paying to move in for what you get. That's just me being honest. But let's move on to the next apartment, Southwest. Next building is called SW. They're located in Southwest, hence the name. We're going to see the amenities first. This is the resort style pool, which quite honestly, would not mind being the only one laying out there. The package area, mail room, and then we have the gym, which quite honestly sucks. I'd rather go work out at EOS, but it'll do. I'm gonna show you a second story unit. This is a one bedroom, it's all they had available. It seems a little dark, but I can't appreciate how open it is. This would be the bedroom. Quick glance at the walk-in closet and then the bathroom, which was kind of small. But again, this is a one bedroom, two bedroom. She said it would have been a little bit bigger. The laundry room. I do like that there's a separate little dining area next to the kitchen. The pantry. But yeah, that was pretty much it for that building. Let's go over some pricing. So there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different floor plans you can choose from. You have your one bedroom, one bath, 836 square feet, two bedroom, two bath, 1123 square feet. You can do a two bedroom by two bath townhome with a garage, which is 1245 square feet, three bedroom, two bath, 1390 square feet. There's a few others, I won't list them all. Um, pricing special is obviously subject to change daily. Your income required is two and a half times the rent. When applying your application, your admin fee are due up front. The application fee is 60, your admin fee is 300. Your security deposit at move-in is 750 or it goes up to one month of rent depending on 
approved credit. You can also do Jetty Bond, which is like an alternative to paying that one fee up front. It's obviously based on approval, but you could do like a smaller fee each month. Um, it's just like an alternative to that security deposit. And then you have your cleaning fee, one time non-refundable of $200. Your extra monthly costs, your renter's insurance, you can either get your own or do it through them, which is 15. It's not optional, you have to prove it. And then you have your valet trash, which is $30, not optional. Pest control, $6, not optional. Water sewer trash, it's billed separately, so it'll depend on your monthly usage. And then if you want a garage, you can get one for 150 extra monthly. Now, as far as pets, there is a two pet maximum. Your pet fee, that's non-refundable, 350 for one pet, 500 for two pets. And then your pet rent, breed restrictions apply, by the way, um, is $50 per pet. And that's that. As far as the pricing, she only gave me the two bedrooms coming available. Um, so a downstairs unit, um, which would be available on September 1st, would be $16.22. And then if I wanted to move in on $10.13 for a downstairs unit, it would be $16.96. So that's that. Let's go on to the next building. Last but not least, we have Evo. These are actually located in Southwest as well. They're just down the street, like literally a two minute drive from the SW. They are in the process of redoing all their outdoor stuff, so it looks a little bit of a mess, but this is one of four pools. This is gonna be the kitchen. This is their desert oasis floor plan. It's a two bedroom, but I like that there's three patios for this floor plan. Got a little dining area. I do have to admit it's a little bit small, but it works. This is their Harry Potter closet. And then right next to that, you got an actual coat closet. This closet is going to be the guest closet, second bedroom closet. Again, this unit has three patios, which I love because I have animals. The room is a decent size. She said it can fit a king. And then this is the bathroom. It's a standing shower. I like that the toilet has its own separate area. Got a little bit of a linen closet. This is an overview of the bedroom. Again, good size. I hate the washer and dryer, enough said. This is gonna be the master shower tub. And then the toilet has its own area, which is huge. We were actually laughing about how big the area is. Good storage space. I do wish it was double sinks though. And then this is gonna be the master bedroom, which is a good size. And again, the patio, I love, because my animals can just go sit outside. This is an overview of the kitchen and living room. Again, it's a little small, but it'll do. Love the hardwood. This is the outdoor area again. Got a pool table. Basketball court, which I thought was pretty cool. Full gym, which this is a decent sized gym. I will take it. It's a good size. She also said there's a sauna and a steam room. And then this is their outdoor pool lounge area there's a grill lots of outdoor space this is a pool again there's four pools on this property this one is what sold me wanted to get a couple different angles this is like a lap pool this is the view as you can see all the black and white the buildings are huge she said there's the other two pools are on that other end this is the view and then there's also a hot tub which I thought was cool was right on the edge. It reminds me of the Palms Hotel, actually. Now that we have both fallen in love with Evo, she did not give me any price points, but the two bedrooms start around $2,000. She gave me this cute little flyer though, which will tell you the names of the apartment units. So the Desert Retreat is a two bedroom, two bath. The Desert Oasis is a two bedroom, two bath, which is the one that I actually toured with the three patios. You have your Desert Escape, which is a townhome, two bedroom, two and a half bath. And your Grand Vista townhome is two bedroom, two and a half bath. Um, it basically depends on which unit you're wanting there. And then she didn't give me, again, any pricing there, but we'll just do basic fees and deposits. So your non-refundable application fee is 65. Your admin fee is 350. Your cleaning fee is 150. Your security deposit you purchase through Rhino. Again, it's dependent on your credit. It can be 400 to 800, sometimes one month rent. 
Conditional approval fee is 150. So if you have a few dings in your credit, they'll still approve you, but there's an extra 150 fee. Your pet fee, your non-refundable security deposit for your pets is 300 to 500. Two pets maximum, breed restrictions, that's obvious. Um, monthly pet rent is 40 to 75 per pet. There's no weight limit there. Your monthly income must be three times the rent. You must provide income within 24 hours of submitting your application. Your renter's insurance is required. Your NV Energy must be set up prior to moving in. That's all standard typical. Your utilities, your water, sewer, trash, common area maintenance, pest control, 80 to 120. It depends on the unit that you choose. The one uh, bedrooms will be a little bit cheaper than the two bedrooms. The two bedrooms are going to be a little bit cheaper than the three bedrooms, so on and so forth. That's all the pricing I have. If you guys are interested, go look online because I highly recommend this building. This is what the pool actually looks like when there's water in it and it's lit up at night. So freaking cute. I know you're all curious to know what my top three are, so I'm going to give them to you. I'm not going to make you wait any longer. I loved Society, I loved Evo, and I loved the Mercer. Those are going to be my top three if I do decide to move back to Vegas from Los Angeles. As far as this video, this is the end. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Comment down below if you have any recommendations. If you live in Vegas, good areas to live in, apartment buildings. Comment down below what your favorite apartment buildings were. Give this video a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. Subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.